Hi, Pascal from Western Canoe and Kayak. Today I want to talk a little bit about care and maintenance of thermoformed kayaks. Uh, we're getting to the time of year where many of us are going to be putting away our boats for a couple months, uh, so it's a good time to uh, make sure they're at their best. Best conditions to store a kayak, uh, whether it's a thermoformed boat or just about any other kind of kayak, um, would be inside in a cool, dry place. Ultimately, we don't all have access to that, uh, so many of us will store our boats outside. What we want to avoid is harsh, direct sunlight. Uh, UV rays, they're pretty damaging to any material, even deltas with their solar coat. Um, they're quite UV resistant, but why put stuff like the bungees and the deck lines through any extra strain if it's not needed? So I would recommend storing the boat in the shade, maybe in a carport, in a shed, under some kind of covering. Um, whatever the case, I would recommend a cockpit cover like we've got fitted here. This will keep, you know, spiders and mice and little critters, prevent them from making a home in your boat. Um, another thing that we would want to do uh, is take a moment to just rinse off the boat, especially if you've been paddling in salt water. Rinse off that salt, rinse off that dirt. Make sure it's clean when you're putting it away. Uh, in a perfect world, you're doing that every time you go out. Um, we're not all perfect, <laughs> but a uh, little bit more uh, effort will pay dividends. Um, another thing you can do uh, is you can use a polishing kit. Um, Delta makes one, works really great. Um, just to take any marks off of your boat, make it look fresh and good as new. And if you've got some scratches and gouges, uh, it can take those out as well. Another good thing to do this time of year would be to lubricate the hatches. Um, so for a Delta, we want to use just regular Armor All. Um, regular Armor All works a treat. Uh, just a little bit on a rag, wipe it around those gaskets on the hatches and you should be good to go. So a little bit of Armor All on a rag. We just wipe that gasket, keeps the rubber supple and keeps it a little bit slippery. You don't need a lot, so I usually wipe it on, wipe it off, and then your hatches are easy to take on and off. Simple as that. Yeah, so this is the number two Novus polish. And it does a really good job of taking off um, scuffs, marks. We've got a lot of staining on our boats because they get dinged up. These are our demo boats. But a little bit of hand polishing and they'll look good as new. That one's looking pretty nice. Yeah, and you can go over the whole boat if you feel like it. Uh, I probably wouldn't. This is a little bit of paint from a rack that it was stored on, so it's fighting. Yeah, on the inside of our cockpit, we want to make sure that it's nice and dry before we put it away. If there's water in there, it's going to smell pretty stanky when springtime comes and we open it up again. So just making sure that it's dry first, probably a good idea. Voila. And if you're going to use a cockpit cover when you're transporting, good thing to clip it onto a deck line. <laughs>